There's another thing, Mikhail. The kids are kids these days. Aye. Tetris, Schmetris. All the time it's Tetris, Tetris, Tetris they want to play. And it's not just in Russia. All over the world it's Tetris, Tetris. Whatever happened to the unicycle and the ball? Oh, damn it! Oh, oh, I got it, man! It's a changing world. Where'd you get your hands on Konami's new video game? Starring me, that Ray Jun Cage, by your belly pin. For the first time ever, Konami combines hand-to-hand -hand combat with driving, shooting, and of course, zapping. In one swamp, stomping adventure. Adventures of Bayou Billy for Nintendo. It all starts when I get out this here swamp. You really give me wild now. The challenge is Metroid. The power is Nintendo. Defend the planet Zebus against the evil mother brain. It's survival or destruction. Do battle or die. Metroid only from Nintendo. Play Rad Racer. Play with power. It's turbo speed in 3D. It's treacherous tracks. Hot cars. Hairpin turns. One mistake and you'll roll. Brad Racer, only from Nintendo. Now you're playing with power. Come on. Almost. Finally. Yeah! Ah, triumph is ours! Kuros! But the battle of wizards and warriors continues with iron sword. The evil wizard Malkil will take the shape of the earth, wind, water, and fire. Farewell! The fate of the world is in your hands! Back by a beast! Live the saga of Iron Sword on your Nintendo Entertainment System from a plane. Kuros? Mandel Palace. Candy is trapped in a dream world by her own dolls. A video game fantasy with 20 areas, 200 levels, even a two-player mode. Will you reach candy before something else does? Mandel Palace. By Hudson Soft. For Nintendo. Get the power to move with the Acclaim wireless remote for your Nintendo Entertainment System. The Acclaim remote gets you mobile in a WrestleMania grudge match. Flying Airwolf. The Acclaim remote's rapid fire mode means higher scores per mission. In the battle for Iron Sword, seconds count. So you need a controller with a look and feel you already know. Accurate up to 30 feet. The official oh, wireless remote let controller me slide licensed the microphone by Nintendo in. created by Acclaim. Get the Acclaim remote. The power to let me move. plug in the headphones. I called the witch doctor. He told me what to do. He said, oogie, ooh, ah, ah, bang, bang, wada, wada, bing, bang. That While means play it. Dr. Mario on Game Boy or NES. Bang, All right, wada, wada, let's bang, give bang. everything a final check. Okay, everything looks good. Well, let's hit the button. And then he struck my head. Well, I gotta figure out the button to hit. We wanna hit that button. Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot to turn on the Nintendo. Shame on me. Shame on me. We're going to flip that to input four. Now I'm going to put that over here. And I'm going to pull the chat back up. Good evening, Stretch. How are we doing? Thank you, everybody. It's the Proto Sam Show starring Proto Sam. I'm your host, Proto Sam. And for all the proto Sammy goodness, you've come to the right place. Let me adjust this microphone real quick. Because all I need is two turntables and a microphone. Hell yeah. Whoop, whoop. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope you folks are doing fantastic. Because I'm doing great. Doing great. <laughs> Oh, and great. The Nintendo decided, hey, you haven't pressed a button in a while. I'm going to go ahead and turn myself off. Well, that's okay. I can turn you back on. 
All right, we're gonna close out of that. And here we go. Another fun night of Super Mario 3D Worlds. Hope all of you are good. Where? And Facebook's going to be going off for the next 15 minutes. People are messaging me about WrestleMania. Not interested to talk to anybody about WrestleMania right now, but man, they're already talking. They're already sending those messages through. Let me tell you what. All right, everybody, let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to Wrestle Mario. <laughs> What's up, Jake? How you doing, buddy? Let's do it! How you doing, buddy? Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Hey, how you doing? So what'd you think of WrestleMania, Jake? What's your what's your two cents? Maybe if I'm lucky you'll give me your three cents. And the biggest question I wanna ask is was it just me or was anybody else like disappointed in the main event? I didn't watch any of it in tonight until the end of the main event. Well, you're probably smart in doing so. Playing Zoom games tonight. Hey, there's no problem with that, buddy. I watched, um, I watched most of it tonight and the show was all right, but it's like I said, I was just, I was very disappointed in the main event. It's kind of like my thought process in it is, is it's like, okay, you wait all year to get people back into the stadiums and you can't even send them home happy. What the heck? But that's just my opinion. I went home happy after that. Well, I didn't I didn't like the ending. I really felt like Edge should have won, but you know, I can see why they did it, but it's just like, really, really? Then again, everybody's a critic, and no matter what they do, not everybody's going to be happy. So you got big plans for this week, good sir? Anything fun and exciting going on in your world? Probably get it. Um, I'd rather have Rama with it and build someone up like Cesar. I just, I mean, that's wishful thinking, but I hate to tell you it's never gonna happen.
just work? Yeah, same here, unfortunately. today well tomorrow unfortunately for me right now i've been working overnights because i've been dealing with clients and it's like oh you gotta be up when we're up and it's like yeah no Jeez. Okay, here we go. Client needs an emergency change order at the last minute, causing you to do do the uh, org. They were already late. They were already late sitting in the materials. I was supposed to have them Wednesday. But I didn't get them till Friday, and I was like, really? Oh, that's not what we agreed to, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, I was mad. And there was nothing I could do to get started on the project until they sent me the materials. So I'm like, you guys do realize that, like, I can't do this until you guys send me the materials to do it. And they're like, oh yeah, we know. And I'm like, great. But yeah, it's always great when they're late. Sending the materials. One of these days, I just want to quit my day job and be world famous streaming superstar Proto Sam. I just don't ever see it happening. So until it does, I have to deal with people. Maybe one day. We can hope, right? Gotta be fake for that. The persona, yeah. Very true. And I'm not willing to be fake about it. But hey, I can dream, right? Do you watch the whole sh Yes, yeah, I watched the whole show. Cater to the mass. Screw the masses. <laughs> Screw the masses, I say. The night. Basically, a street fight to boil it down is basically all that it was. It wasn't like there were any special stipulations or anything, it's just a street fight, basically. Just a way to give a street fight a cool name. 
is the way that it came across to me. They use like kendo sticks and some other weapons. Like, you know how when they like it's like well it's gonna be a street fight damn it it's like well we need a cool name for it we'll call it a nigerian drum match oh yeah i'm vince mcmahon damn it <laughs> well that's how it felt to me anyway So that's kind of how I, uh, that's kind of how I felt about it anyway. They can't <laughs> WWE plot. Okay. You're hill now deal with it. <laughs> pretty much or pretty much. All right. Get some air horns up in the chat. And of course, folks, I don't ask a lot from you, but if you could, please leave a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate it. Those analytics help. <laughs> I was hoping it was Punjabi prison. Right, you to the hidden tip. So have Chris, um, it wasn't bad. Was it? substantially great not really it was just kind of yeah all in all it was just an average mania Which anymore just seems to be the standard for WrestleMania. Just an average show. There were some, there were some very good matches, but the show as the whole was just kind of like, really? Ah, boo. Like it stood out more i uh i would agree with that i definitely would agree with that for sure yeah the night one card seemed like it was better if you want to ask what i think You and me both, in all honesty. Even make it, yeah, Bailey. <laughs> her her heel work is not not great. It's like it's like having a very obnoxious Karen. If you've ever worked in retail and you see an obnox if you've ever worked retail and you know what an obnoxious Karen is and you see it on TV, you're just like, eh, I really don't want to watch this right now. Oh. 
yeah, with the haircut to match. Yeah, it just makes it worse. Yeah, it just it just made it worse. Chris, I'm sure you know some obnoxious Karens yourself. Put your pants on. I have my pants on. Well, I'm wearing shorts, but they're close enough to pants. <laughs> Do a little dance. <laughs> That's, that's one of those situations to where it's like, oh, great. Here comes Karen. Some of you guys have worked retail. Y'all know what I'm talking about. What is like, what is your biggest horror story from working retail? Cause I mean, there's gotta be a lot of them. watch but yeah just i'm not a big fan of the e right now black friday oh god black friday was always the worst although my black friday was never really that bad You either die a Karen or you live long enough to see yourself become the manager. <laughs> that is exactly right. I was watching some video like on Facebook the other day and it had, it was, it was a Karen versus a manager. And it was like one of the greatest things that I had seen in a while. And it was great. <laughs> Let's go in this box first. Okay. At times Black Friday. The other day, audits and inventory could be worse than Black Friday. Oh gosh. Inventory, like when you worked at Walmart, inventory was like the biggest, the biggest thing ever. It was like you would you would have managers crap in their pants, stressed out like as much as possible. Karen versus the manager needs to be an episode of Death Battle. Mikey L the gamer, long time no see, buddy. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Glad you could come by. Glad you could say hello. How's it going, my dude? In my second job, I became management with a year, but people have been there longer and older. I have, I don't care what you think, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Although I'm still, org, I'm still debating whether, I still have this debate with myself. If the Karens are worse in retail or food service, 
I haven't yet been able to figure out which one is worse. But it's a question that I've been dealing with for a long time, trying to find the answer. And just to be honest with you, I don't think I will ever know the truth. <laughs> Is it a mass debate? <laughs> Done both. Um, both suck. Yeah, both do suck, man. But it's kind of like, which in the battle of the Karens, which Karen is worse? <laughs> Damn, being his own, Sam being his own boss only has to inventory the old stained undies and used bag of chips laying on his floor for the last three years. Yeah, this is true. Karen can be guys do too. Well, I have never met. Maybe, maybe it's just circumstance, but I've never met a male Karen. Not in the aspect of, you know, it's somebody's name, but I have never met like a male Karen. <laughs> I think my wife is slowly being stuck inside. <laughs> Turned her to conspiracy. <laughs> Anything is possible. And I feel the being stuck inside thing for a show. I'd say who, but it would get political in here. <laughs> yeah, we, we don't want that debate, but I understand what you're saying and org, I would agree with you. I, I feel what you are saying. I get what you are throwing down and you best believe that I would agree with you. One day she cut up one of her bras looking for a tracking device. I know that sounds like a joke, but I'm not kidding. She actually. Well, now. Well, like I say, anything is possible. After the last year and a half that I've had, I've learned to never underestimate anything. Because you just, you never know anymore. <laughs> the support, so what's the support line? <laughs> now nah, we're good. We're, we're not going to have a political discussion. We're, we're, we're. We're playing video games and this is not the time nor the place to be political.
I wanted to say. <laughs> you have your, you're in your 40. <laughs> You all thought I had a hotel in my, but I'm the king of Google. <laughs> you guys are in rare form tonight. I like it, I say. I just appreciate you being here. Thanks for taking a little bit of your time to stop by my corner of the internet. Great feeling. I love you. I love Roberto, the good saint robot. <laughs> and there is nothing wrong with that. Madam, if anyone is that desperate, it's probably your <laughs> lucky <day. laughs> You guys are killing it, man. You guys are killing it. Oh, by the way, guys, I, uh, I bought a new PlayStation five game this week. We're going to start playing it this week. I got sack boy, a big adventure. What? Do you really expect me to pick up like call of duty? We're going to start playing sack boy, a big adventure this coming week. It looked like a fun little 3D side scroller. So I was like, all right, I'll pick it up. We really need to start Spider-Man too. So I think we're going to wrap this up this week. And we'll, what do you guys want to do first? You guys want to do Spider-Man or you guys want to do sack boy first? I will leave that one up to you to say, yes. Give us some miles Morales. All right. You want Spider-Man Spider-Man? I think we can do Spider-Man first. That's what everybody else wants as well. Nice. Is it weird that I'm just not interested in the new generation of consoles? There really isn't anything that interests me that isn't either on PC or going to end up on PC. Mike, that's kind of what I was thinking as well, but I know that eventually sooner or later down the pike, Sony will have something that will just make me want to get a PS5. So I ended up being able to get one from GameStop. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get it because I can still play all my PS4 games on it. And like I had, I had the original base model PS, PS4 anyway. So for me, it was like a big upgrade as far as even like visuals on my PlayStation 4 games went. So I was like, all right, I think I can deal with that. Yeah, for sure. But 
I got mine for like retail, so I wasn't like too upset about having to spend the money. So granted, I had to buy an extra controller. You didn't get a PS4 until Final Fantasy 15 came out. Yeah. I mean, for some people, some people like me, cause like I am a console fanboy. I prefer like the game on console than I do a computer. For some people like me, it's a first day purchase. And for some people, it's just like, you know, I don't need this right away. So I can wait around for it. But for me, it's like, I gotta have it like as soon as I can. That's why I'm always like, all right, buy the new console. We'll upgrade the computer eventually. And it's not even like, And it's not even like my computer is that bad. I mean, I still got an eighth gen i7, 32 gigs of RAM. The only thing I really need to put in it is a new capture, <laughs> new capture card, new graphics card. <laughs> it's on PC. Yeah, the only thing I really need to put into my computer is a new graphics card. And it'll be good to go for at least another four years. It was just an exclusivity thing. Yeah, I can see that. Good luck getting a new GPU anytime. Uh, that's why I'm not worried about it, or <laughs> to be honest with you. I am not worried about trying to get one, at least for a while anyway. Oh, come on. Anyone's wondering, yes, I do actually like fight. Now, which one was 13, Mike? It's like, I haven't kept track of like any of the new ones. The newest one that I've played is, um, is Final Fantasy VII Remake. And that's like the newest one I've played. Everyone has their own opinion. Oh. <laughs> it's like, what, what is the one that's getting ready to come out this year? It was the one with lightning and all the whole. Okay, yeah, because then there was lightning. Because then there was Final Fantasy 13. There was lightning returns. And okay. Yeah. Are expensive right now. One right now. Yeah, and the GPU that I've got in this computer, I'm still rocking a 1060 Ti. Shows you how much I game on my computer. She did 13, but yeah. Didn't care for it, or Oh, great. That would have been bad. Give it 1660 Ti. Yeah. One of these days, I will go out and get a new graphics card. I'm just not in a hurry. Oh, can you not? Okay. In 60. Pause it right now. How bad the market is. I could sell it for more than I paid. Is the market really that bad? Oh my gosh. I, I mean, I knew it was bad to get the new 3000 series, but like, I didn't know the market in general was that bad. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Cause I mean, like, like I said, I knew the market was bad, but I didn't realize it was that bad. I don't have 4K monitors, so it works for me. Yeah. The only like 4K monitor I have 
is uh, my 4K TV that serves as like the primary monitor for my setup. And like, even as bad as it is, my 1060 Ti can output in 4K. Oh, great. It jacks up the price. Yeah. Yep, supply and demand will do that. And like, the bad part about it is, and like maybe one of you guys can correct me on this one if I'm wrong, but like the bad part of it is, is it's like the supply and demand is so bad, not necessarily because people are using them for gaming, but it seems like anymore, all I hear about is people using them to mine crypto. Now, it's like I said, I don't know if that's the case or not, but like everything that I've heard is like, you know, mining crypto is the big thing anymore with that. Yeah, crypto mining is back again. Yeah. Good grief. Well, I guess like as we continue to screech closer and closer to all of Bitcoin in the world being mined, it is what it is, right? And the more people uh, during the majority part of the pandemic, yeah. But I figured as much. Here I am the other day. I uh, I just recently bought like, I was just feeling, I was like, well, I got a hundred extra dollars to spend and I feel like investing in something. Like, all right, okay, I'll buy a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin. <laughs> oh, by the way, Andrew, if this works, Uh, and I set up Nightbot and it's not working. Hold on. Oh, wait, there he is. <laughs> it's just fun to do BGA. Isn't it great? Yeah. And you know what? Even seems like I have no clue, Mike. I wish I could tell you, but I have no clue, unfortunately. getting that Bob Saget command in the chat. And um, one thing I am going to do this week too, guys, I am going to set up Streamlabs chat bot as well. That way that you guys can get your sound commands back. Then I know that you love so much. Because I know more than anything in the world, you love being able to type in exclamation point bob and hear 
that little clip every 15 seconds in the chat. So I figure why not? Oh shoot. <laughs> oh, Bob oh, Saget. All right, gotta run. The Black Plague is contagious. Yeah, but I know it's late guys, but thanks for coming by and hanging out for a little bit tonight. I hope all of you've had a wonderful Sunday and I hope that your Monday is going to be just as awesome. APIs, etc. And uh, guys, if you uh, if you want to do your buddy Proto a big favor, hit the like button on the video. Get those analytics going. Every little bit of analytics helps. Whether you're like, I don't like Sam, I'm gonna dislike the video, or if you're like, well, Sam's all right, I like the video. Go ahead and do that. And I seen somebody dislike the video because I said that. So thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, great. It's all like, well, Sam's all right, so I'll just like, <laughs> hey, it's all good, man. <laughs> oh, good grief. Come on, streamer, get gooders. All right, we got gooders. right there oh well if at first you don't succeed just give up no use to try again Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that one right now. I got enough stars for the time being. We're just working on trying to beat the game right now. So, uh, Org, let me ask you a question, Mr. Chaos. Does my does my video output like does the stream look good at the bit rate that I'm streaming at? Or should I consider turning the bit rate up some more? That's one thing I've been worrying about lately. Because it's like, now I know that I'm streaming. I've got an upload right now of nine megabits a second. Make the viewpoint larger. Maybe. Yeah. So I'm thinking it's like, well, the upload speed that I've got from the comp from my cable company is a very impressive 30 megabits up. So maybe I should consider turning the stream rate up. Stable to do. What do I use for internet? Uh, Chris, I've got New Wave. I have cable. Which is great right now. Nine is fine for JP. I'm go lower though. Yeah. I've been thinking about maybe bumping it up a little bit to go higher. I haven't used Nightbot in a long time. Let's see if this works. <laughs> I thought they had no uh i also on top of that chris i also pay the extra 40 bucks a month to have unlimited data my internet bill is outrageous but unfortunately because of the work i do i have to have it <laughs> I asked Sam to turn on Nightbot for a month and all I got was this command. <laughs> but yeah, on any of New Wave's internet plans, you can pay the extra 40 bucks a month to uh, have completely unlimited. What did I say with a grain of salt? I haven't streamed for... I was getting ready to ask you about that, Mike, if you were ever streaming anymore. I still see you pop up in Dark Jake's channel every one, from time to time. I hang out there a lot, although whenever I like I'm hanging out in the stream, I'm always lurking. I'll always come in and say hi and then I go back to the work lurk. But I do like hanging out there. But yeah, I'm actually, I'm very much enjoying the being back on YouTube thing. I'm going to try and make a video tomorrow talking about to change them during a stream. Just change those settings later. I've retired from YouTube. I'm just too busy. Hey, I understand, Mike. I'm going to head out to, all right, Chris, thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate you being here. You have a good one. All right. OBS, high priority on the same screen. Yeah.
Six C is the level. Hey, let's line him up. Yeah, I finally, for the most part, got tired of the Twitch thing. So it's like, well, you know, you can always come back to YouTube. And I don't know. I've like, I've had more fun streaming on here than I have on like Twitch in a long time. Uh oh. And it's it's becoming one of those to where it's like all my all my streamer buddies over on Twitch are like I'm gonna be the next big streaming superstar on Twitch. And I'm like, guys, no, you're not. You are not going to be the next big thing on Twitch. Unless well, I'm not even gonna be negative, so I won't even say that. Why teach is that? It is. But I think at the same time, Org, I feel like, I feel like there is more opportunity in growth, in growing a YouTube channel right now, more than anything, if that makes any sense. So it's like, if any of my content creator friends are asking me anymore, what should I do? I'm like, dude, grow a YouTube channel. like discovery like on every platform right now is terrible absolutely terrible <laughs> twitch discovery twitch discovery in my opinion though has to be the worst i mean i still feel like there is like good opportunities for growth on youtube it's just it's like everything if you're gonna do something it takes time and it takes consistency Two things at which I am very bad at. <laughs> All right, guys, real quick. I need to go to the bathroom real quick. So I'm going to flash our Be Right Back screen, put on some music, and uh, I will be back here in just a second, guys. Enjoy.
All right, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for being patient for a moment. Let me get caught up with the chat here. Majority of the audience is the younger side, not to sound demeaning, but I don't want to be the guy in his 40s talking about video games and teenagers. Yeah, I can see that. That's fair. Content creators with a more mature audience also have a much smaller. Yeah, for sure. I have a computer question if anyone. Look at the main game Grumps demographic for example. How do I connect my my USB charger so I can take my internet with me? My coworker said I needed something called a SATA. <laughs> oh, Andrew. Oh, Andrew. <laughs> Oh, Andrew, what are we going to do with you? That is the standard interface for HTTP. <laughs> Andrew, the common cold is the king of the trolls, but he's a good troll. So we let him stick around. All right. We are on to world seven. Let me make sure I've collected and taken every path that I can here real quick. Yeah. We good. We good. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's. Andrew is very sarcastic. <laughs> let me stick around because I'm terrible at troll. No, I let you stick around, Andrew, because I think you're an all right dude. <laughs> Plus, if I don't have somebody that messes with me, who is, you know? Give my game calls. <laughs> up, I botched that up. Once a stream, I'm going to ask a terrible tech support question. Hey, that is fine. I think that's great, actually. An injection of humor is always fantastic. An injection of humor is always the best. Hey, 
and chat kills, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a minute, I can go back and try and collect that now. Please never use the word injection again. It makes me uncomfortable. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's try this again. Connect to the internet for some reason. I try to adjust. <laughs> They're hard to see because my. <laughs> yeah, for you, somebody thought they were going to try overclocking, adding one gigahertz to their GP software to overclock. I had to check that they had to inject themselves into safe tone. <laughs> inject, inject, inject. <laughs> You guys are killing it tonight. Bringing the jokes. And it's a good time. Oh, show. was funny. Switch black runes. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. that for sure so what new games are you guys looking forward to the most Has anything caught anybody's attention recently I feel like that's a question I ask a lot but I always want to stay informed oh Bob Saget Oh, Mike, I am so pumped for that one as well. I am, I am like so ready for that.
I saw that it was getting made and I was like, okay. Day one purchase confirmed. Off with your friends too. Didn't they finally just have a stable release candidate for golf with your friend? You need to do a playthrough of the first one now. <laughs> the first one of what, good sir? Blaster master. Oh, you're asking me. You're asking me to play the NES version, aren't you? Show us your retro gaming skills. Oh, God. You are asking me to play the Nintendo version of Blaster Master. Also Xenoblade Chronicles 3. It hasn't been announced or even confirmed to be in development yet, but I still want Mike, I am sure it's gonna be coming down the pike very soon. I think Xenoblade 2 was pretty successful. So I think it'll definitely be coming. Without a shadow of a doubt. wants me to go through the pain of having to play the original blaster master i don't know if i can do that but i may just have to suck it up and do it you have 100 seconds Okay, calm down. Oh. I don't think I've ever beat it. Be honest. I mean, I like the game. And I died again. That game is way too long for having no save function. You're, you're very right, Mike. Didn't the Japanese version have a save function though? Or am I just, or am I just making that up? I could have sworn I remembered it having a save function in the Japanese version. Dang it. I don't know, but Japanese version had no ending. Did it not? Good grief, Charlie Brown. Metroidvania with no saves or passwords. They know my heart how good it is. That decision alone makes it garbage. Status confirmed.
play it now with an emulator. Yeah. just not a reasonably accessible game yeah i uh i have it on my nes mini then again i have every ntsc usa uh, nes game on that nes mini Me and this level are having major problems. I left my NES on overnight. So I just wouldn't have to reset it being. I'm curious. Sees the device on. Oh. Uh, Oh man. <laughs> oh, that would that would be the end of it for me. I would be like, nope. With the inclusions of safe states, blast master free Oh absolutely. Why is it that you always have that one level in every video game? Oh, okay. these days is like sitting on the desk over here i've got the nes mini the snes mini and the sega genesis mini one of these days i want to find a turbo graphics mini <clears throat> but i don't know if i'll ever be able to find one of those at this point <clears throat> they were initially very hard to find anyway so I think getting one now would just be pretty, pretty much impossible. No reason to go back out. So Curiosity. Yeah. The Blaster Master Zero games have been great. <clears throat> but as a franchise as a whole, Blaster Master has been very hit or miss as far as the games go. Did anybody play Blaster Master 2 on the Sega Genesis? Or was that a just me thing? Yeah. Don't pull the hand in the ass. Oh. I 
played it for about 20. Oh, it's horrible. <clears throat> it was horrible. <clears throat> I do not blame anybody who ever turned the console off for that one at all. <clears throat> Is it? I've never had a chance to play it, but I have heard quite a few people say that it's worth the time. And that I need to go check it out. Didn't they do like a WiiWare Blaster Master game as well? Or am I just like making that up? Because I could have sworn that they'd done a WiiWare Blaster Master. like if they did a weir WiiWare version i may have to pull the wii u out of the closet see if i could find the wad somewhere online for it Yay. i know they did castlevania i know they did a WiiWare castlevania game that i need to find online somewhere and give it play Muddy textures, terrible voice acting. <laughs> I don't think there was ever a PS1 game where the voice acting was good. <laughs> a Castlevania Symphony of the Night was one of the worst offenders in that. terrible games yes it created some good games at the same time but it also created some really bad ones now like i love super mario 64 but i was i was playing the enhanced textured version the other day just to you know play super mario 64 and um it had finally got to me it was like man this game to me is finally showing its age and i whimpered a bit after i said that to myself because i uh i always thought that super mario 64 was like the quintessential game And like for the first time ever, I changed my mind about that. And I felt, I felt kind of sad about it. I did, man. I used to sing the praises of that game all the time. Then I sat down and I just played it one day and I was like, you know, this game just isn't as good as I remember it. No fifth gen game. The only ones that like, I think have aged well to an extent are some of the RPGs and that's really about it honest I'd say like because like some RPGs they're just 
classic. They're just timeless. Like I would be willing to put, you know, you could you could pick up and play like cr Bob Saget. You could still pick up and play. Even at release, I thought Final Fantasy VII could have been better for fans. And it's like, you know, any day of the week, I still feel like you can pick up Chrono Trigger. Have I played it lately? Um, it's been about a month, but yeah. I still hold that game in high regard. But I mean, it's like you could play Chrono Trigger today. And the experience would still be enjoyable. I think, you know, you could, you could pick up like the Game Boy Advance version of Final Fantasy one, and that would still be good. Chrono Trigger is a fourth generation. Well, I still feel like you could pick up the original Final Fantasy seven and you still have a good time with it. You could pick up Final Fantasy VIII and still have a good time with it. You could pick up Final Fantasy IX and still like have a good time with it. <laughs> Sprite's age better than Polya. That is for sure. I, uh, I will not argue that at all. so much time into a certain character. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wasn't that a kick in the gut? Yay. It'd be like in Final Fantasy seven, like <clears throat> making Tara like your OP character. And then like having those times where she would be off. It's like, really? She got pudding. It's <laughs> just party. <laughs> I, uh, I feel you. There's something to solve just simply because it's the first game. So refreshing to play a game, yeah. I don't know. like I feel like I have an idea of why I have such emotional attachment to some games and um some of you may really understand this I got a feeling that everybody can understand like the sympathy the sympathy behind it but I think, I think that I have like such an emotional attachment to some games uh, because it was under the circumstances that you got them and how you played them. Like Final Fantasy VII was like the first PlayStation game that like I ever got purchased for me. And uh, it was my mom that got it for me. And uh, ever since that my mom has passed away, it's kind of been like, you look back at those memories of, you know, something like that to where like, you know, you had a, you had a really great experience with somebody that you were close to. And I think that kind of puts the blind, the blinders on the nostalgia for it. And that's why when you get older, you will defend it to the death to anyone because you're looking at it through your own personal nostalgia instead of just the nostalgia of the game, if that makes any sense.
like i really don't know if that does make sense but that's that's kind of how i feel about it Anyway, because I mean, I know that we all have those personal experiences to go with it, but I think, I think in a concept that kind of helps justify it to us, why we will defend, you know, a certain game or certain whatever to the death. Do that with childhood memories and it's clear to it. Yeah. So I think personal, I think personal nostalgia plays like a lot into that. Oh, it's flaws very clear. Yeah. Mike, when was that? That was 1997. Before, yeah, 11, 12. I think I was 13 when that came out, 13 or 12. Cause I think it came out in 97, right? I think I think in a lot of ways it's easier for somebody that's 13 to overlook some of that stuff whereas somebody that's 18 at the time of it I think I was 13. I was either 13 or 12. Because I know, like, I look back at my Super Nintendo days is like very fondly. idea Sam <laughs> you tell I'm paying more attention to 
chat and other things right now. Yeah, 1997. That's what I thought. But yeah, I would have been 12 or 13 at the time. Kingdom Hearts, but it's just Final Fantasy 7. Is, you know, Orc, I never have really played a Kingdom Hearts game all the way through. So I really don't have anything on that. I know like right now on Xbox Game Pass, you can play like, you can get like Kingdom Hearts and play it. But I don't know, maybe it's just me. I just never got the concept of Goofy <laughs> and Sephiroth being in the same game. It just kind of blew my mind. This is new. Well, Sonic Adventure 2 is one of the games I've made. I think I have that on my X. Actually, I need to go through the Xbox eventually and figure out what I was on. A lot like they do. Yeah. All right, here we go. actually really high for King of Hearts. It disappointed me. What would you say? What was the biggest thing about it that disappointed you, Mike? Actually, really constant idea. Kind of fun. Yeah. I was expecting a fun little story about a boy trying to find. Oh, my. Okay. Nothing. Instead, I got one of the most absurd and gobbled. Still ever exist in fiction. 
took itself way too seriously. <laughs> okay, okay. I understand. Yeah, there are just like some games that in the plot and stuff that you should not take as seriously as some people do. Oh, here we go again. I'm okay. Haha, uh -huh, silly as long as it's self aware. Yeah. And, you know, it's like some games that should be fun just are not fun because it's like the plot takes itself too seriously. I think that's like one of the biggest reasons like I like Deadpool, the Deadpool movies as much as I do. Is it's like, it's one of those superhero movies. It's like, yeah, it understands it's a superhero movie, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, I'm a superhero movie, but I, I really, I really just don't care if you take the plot seriously. Do this where we don't have to work to avoid these on the way ah bob saget good <laughs> counter to that to like show how many times I've said Bob Saget What's in the pipe? Oh, a toad level. Look at your average Mario game. Silly plot. Yeah. And the plot never changes. Well, for the most part, the plot basically is Princess Peach gets kidnapped and Mario's always got to go save her. Good to make you feel sorry for. Oof, typo.
<laughs> Thank you, Org. Appreciate it, buddy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You know, when we were kids, you know, the plot to a video game, you were lucky if the video game you were playing had a plot. I mean, honestly. This game is not the place to the little girl being shot by us. You are absolutely right, sir. <laughs> Checkpoint right here. Whose bright idea was Highlander 2 and 3? That's a good question. That is a very good question. To be honest. It was like, I love the original Highlander movie, but yeah, it just, it got kind of weird after that. Last of Us, this one was better. <sighs> Last of Us was a better game. I, uh, I was not a fan of The Last of Us 2. But that was just my personal opinion. I felt the story in Last of Us 2 left a lot. 
to be desired. Misery Simulator. Facing suck, yeah. I don't know, it, would, it just came to Last of Us 2. I was like, when I got to the ending, I was just, I watched the ending and everything. And I was just like, nope, nope. The, the ending of the game ruined it for me. I was like, I was really invested in everything. And then we get to the ending and I'm just like, no, nope. That it completely ruined the whole game for me. Omega, what's up, buddy? How you doing? What you up to, good sir? Thanks for coming by. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you're having a good night. If you watched WrestleMania this evening, I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't, but... That doesn't mean somebody else didn't have to not like it. Come shot. Hey, okay. I missed it. WrestleMania was really hit and miss, dude. It was really hit and miss. The main event in itself was a good match, but I really feel like the wrong guy won. I really do. Roman won. And I know maybe it was just me, but I would have been like, I haven't been able to go to wrestling. Internationally broadcasted wrestling anyway, for over a year. And I spent all this money on a ticket just to see the bad guy win in the main event. You know, I would have, if I was in the stadium, it would have been such a letdown.
At least it would have been to me anyway. Cause you know, it, it just seemed like a giant. Hey, Sai, how's it going, buddy? It just seemed like a giant fuck you to the fans. And it's like, I know, now that I understand the concepts of stuff better, I know it's done to like build heat to, you know, establish, you know, a long-term plan for the good guy to eventually get the comeuppance. But I don't remember if he did or not. Big E didn't win tonight, which was depressing. Uh, Edge and Daniel ate the pin, which was really surprising. It was basically Roman put after the match, Roman put them on top of each other and pinned the both of them. So it was just kind of like, really? Really? I don't know. The booking just seems so sporadic and all over the place. So it was just really kind of hard to decipher any of it. To me, it was just like, okay, you've had Roman in both guys. And now neither one of them has any heat to come back with. I mean, yeah, it was dirty how he won, but it essentially kills both guys heat. Because it's like you look in the record books and when you look in the record books about it, you know, it doesn't say Roman Reigns won because um, Jey Uso interfered. No, it's just going to say that Roman Reigns won. And he won by pinning both of the other guys. So, I mean, it effectively, this is one of them. So it effectively kills both of their heat. Eh, you can call it cheating if you want. I don't care at this point. I just want to get through the game. This is world seven and we still have to go through. I think there's Bowser world. So this is the setup to the final stage. to the final area of the game anyway. Um, everything that I really liked was on night one, to be honest with you. I mean, I enjoyed the main event of the show, but the ending just killed it. Um, but the Sasha Banks, Bianca Belair match was really good. I mean, that was a really good match. 
They put everything they had into that. Cesaro and Seth Rollins was great. <clears throat> Although it was a good match, it wasn't it wasn't anything that you couldn't watch on SmackDown on Friday. I mean, it was a good it was a good great match, but it wasn't WrestleMania good. I guess I think is the best way to put that. Honestly. Yeah. Thank goodness we got the white tanuki. Just basically makes this a cakewalk. Yeah, it just basically makes this to where all you got to do is walk through the level and you're done. Thanks for the GG Omega, even though I didn't earn it. <laughs> I just cheap my way through it. <laughs> really tempted to get this game. Keep an eye out for the Oh, it's great. It's a good game. Definitely a good game. Would recommend it for sure. Actually, no, it's only like 1229 here right now. It's only 1229. Well, 1229 a.m., but you know. All right, guys. Well, we have made it to the final level of the game. Can we beat Bowser? We're going to have to find out next time because I'm tired. <laughs> we'll beat him for sure, but I'm tired, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the stream and call it a night for tonight. I, I don't know. I'm just tired, but hey, check it out, guys. I, uh, I do appreciate you guys coming by and hanging out and uh, being here while we do this. Thank you guys for that. Um, I hope everybody had a very nice weekend. And I hope that you guys have a good week. And in the meantime, 
everybody stay safe i will catch you soon and i mean hell we'll be back tomorrow so have a good night guys peace out